Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Fietta. I typically um, make videos about different apps that can be helpful for people with dementia or people who are trying to age well or caring for a loved one with dementia. But today's video, as well as several videos that will follow, um, is going to be a little bit different in that we are talking about a different smart technology. We're gonna be talking about the Vision Pro. So the Vision Pro um, is a new augmented reality uh, headset that was made by Apple. It differs from virtual reality or gaming units in that this one is designed to um, allow you to interact with the world around you a little bit different, not necessarily enter into virtual reality exclusively, though it does offer virtual reality. So one of the reasons I have this uh, is related to my work. Um, I do assistive technology research and one of my roles is to evaluate pervasive technologies that can have uh, assistive capacities. So that's why I'm looking at the Visual Vision Pro. Um, I want to learn a little bit more about what it offers for individuals with different physical disabilities, um, how it can accommodate their needs, and how it can potentially support them in doing things that they do um, in day-to-day -day life. So without further ado, this is the Vision Pro. As you can see, it's got these goggles. These are not see-through. Um, it does have a pass-through, but that's done through several cameras. And so I'll move out of the way so that my iPhone gets this, um, both here. And then it has a series of cameras on the inside that will capture my eyes. So the Vision Pro uses um, uh, eye gaze technology. So you control your mouse or your pointer within the uh, screen through your eyes, through where you're looking. And then you click on things by um, pinching or tapping. That's how you typically do it. Um, but we're gonna explore multiple ways of moving through the Vision Pro and interacting with it. So I'll go ahead and put this on. So to interact with the Vision Pro, um, you look around at different icons, different content, and that's like moving your mouse or moving your finger along the trackpad. And then to select something, you pinch your fingers and you don't actually see me doing it because I just have my hands resting down on my lap. The cameras to pick up that motion are here at the bottom of the Vision Pro. So if you're somebody that has limited upper extremity movement and you're not able to pinch um, such that you could control this comfortably, there are some options. So what you would do is you would go over to settings and you would scroll down to accessibility. So when you're first setting up the Vision Pro, this is not on automatically and I don't know of any way to um, avoid having somebody else set it up for you. Uh, they could potentially do this at um, an Apple apps or an Apple store. And I don't know for that for sure, but something you could potentially ask about if you're interested in a Vision, Vision Pro um, and know you would need setup. So after I get to accessibility, I'm gonna go to physical motor and go to interaction. And you'll see a number of different options here. I'm looking for dwell control. So with dwell control, I can change a number of different settings. So I can turn on highlight control and that's where you'll have a nice little outline around the icon or whatever um, component of your screen you're about to select by dwelling on it with your eyes. Uh, so it's just a, an indicator of what you're going to click. You'll see in a moment, even if you don't have this on, there is a little white icon um, or a little white dot that's gonna appear over whatever I'm about to select. So you can turn that on, but there is an indicator, a more subtle indicator on either way. So you can also adjust the amount of time you have to dwell on something before you select it. So I can click on this and a keypad will pop up and I can um, choose to make this faster or slower. So I can click up and down with these uh, pluses and, or this plus and minus, or I can go to this keypad and click it. I am gonna go ahead and just keep it at one second for now. You also have the option to uh, adjust the movement tolerance. So if you have any sort of visual motor impairment such that it would be difficult for you to dwell uh, your eyes on one icon in a really steady manner, um, the Vision Pro can account for that to some extent. So that's something you can modify as well. 
Um, the target, I typically leave it on automatic, but you can also um, use system pointer or trackpad. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip on dwell control. So when I do this, you'll see this little um, bubble pops up down here, and I'll show you what that does here in a moment. In order to point out how important that is, let me explain how you interact with the Vision Pro outside of just um, looking at what you wanna select and then selecting with a pinch. You also have to be able to um, drag things up and down, kind of like swipe up and down. You might also want to move something so you can pick it up and move it around in your environment. So you're dragging it. So if you're using dwell control, those options might still be very important to you. So you can hover over gestures and you'll see a white icon appears when I'm about to select it. And then I can choose scroll, long press or drag. Now, when I hover over something, if I have one of those selected, it will do that gesture rather than just select. And let me go back here for a moment. You can also um, pause dwell control, and then you can also cancel fallback if you want to. So with fallback, if I choose another gesture outside of just selecting, after I utilize that gesture, it'll go back to um, just selecting when I dwell on something. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my gestures. Let's do drag. Um, actually, I'll open my app first. So let's open podcasts. So let's say on this uh, sidebar here, I wanted to be able to kind of drag it down so I can see, or drag it up rather to see if there's anything below latest episodes. So I'll go to my gestures and I'm gonna do drag. So then I'll hover over latest episodes, and then I'm gonna hover over browse. So now it's gonna pull latest episodes up towards browse, just like that. Now I'm gonna hover over yesterday's episode and pull it up towards the episodes box, and it pulled it up. So let me X out of this. And as you can see, it's actually not responding because I turned off fallback. So I have to turn um, it back on to, let's see if I can get this, to tap so that I can select with my dual control. And now I can hover over this X down here at the bottom and close it. So there are a few things that I have not been able to find a way to do using dwell control. So for example, right now I turned on the Yosemite virtual environment and you don't see any of it because I have it dialed down. So I can dial it up using my digital crown here and now it's on, it's all around me. Here's my nice little dual control feature. If I wanna dial this back down, I have to use my um, digital crown. I can't use dual control. And that's because to pull up the little icon that, that where you can um, dial up or down, you just start scrolling on the digital crown and it pops up. So yes, I could potentially use the drag gesture to move that little bar around it, but I can't activate it unless I use my digital crown. So I can look up and get this little arrow and if I dwell on it, there we go. Um, There we go. So if I select that and I wasn't screen recording, um, I could come here and um, mess around with some controls using the control center. I can mess with the volume. Um, I can't necessarily mess with the virtual environment, or at least I haven't figured out a way to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and X off. Hey Siri, dial up my virtual environment. Yeah, unfortunately she can't help with this one. So I'll do it manually. So that is something. Thank you, Siri. So that is something that I have only been able to do manually using my hands. So there are a few limitations to um, the accessibility features, specifically dwell control. Um, I showed you how to drag 
Um, I emphasize that rather than scroll because dragging works much better for me. Sometimes when I'm hovering over something to scroll, it still just selects it, but I'm consistently able to kind of scroll through things if I use the drag function. So dwell control to select, you can um, use your little gestures icon um, to turn on drag. And if you're going to be, you know, exploring an area and you want to continue using that drag, um, then you'll want to, move this here, then you'll want to turn off fallback. So that's the Vision Pro, um, the dual control accessibility feature. We're gonna continue to explore this and talk about um, how it can potentially interface with people of different ability levels and different things that it can be useful for. Thanks for tuning in.